What's product placement in film and television? We're gonna go through a couple of chapters. We'll start with what product placement is. We'll talk about four types of product placement and the benefits of it. We'll go through some examples of product placement in popular films and problems with product placement. There are some. And then how product placement benefits a film project. Follow me. Okay, first, what is product placement? It's also known as embedded marketing. It's a marketing strategy where commercial products or brands are worked into a film's narrative or visual experience. The goal is to, sometimes very subtly, sometimes very blatantly, promote a product or brand to the audience. It uses a film's reach and influence to help sell a product or idea or brand. There are really four types. There's visual placement. The product is featured prominently on the screen, like a character driving a specific type of car or drinking a specific type of soda. There's verbal placement, which is a character mentioning a specific product or brand in dialogue, like, oh, I use ChatGPT to do that, or I drive a Corvette, it's a stick, vroom vroom. The third type is contextual placement. The product is integrated into a storyline in a way that makes sense within the context of the film. For example, the US Army may partner with a movie because the film shows the life of a US Army reserve soldier saving lives after a hurricane. Another example could be a found footage horror film that could be filmed entirely on Nest security cameras that the character conveniently had recently installed. The fourth kind is usage placement. Characters actively use the product in a way that demonstrates its features and products. Let's say a character can't find their phone, so they use Apple's Find My iPhone feature in the film. There are a couple of benefits to this. Uh, for the brand, there's the brand exposure, there's subtle awareness plays, people become aware of a product and its features, and it builds credibility when likable characters are using your product. Now for the filmmaker, the benefits are obviously financial, but you can also get free or approved use of your products. Somebody may not get money from Apple for using an iPhone, but they may need to seek approval for using an iPhone. There is actually a rumor going around that Apple does not let bad guys use iPhones in movies. You'll notice a lot of bad guys are using Android phones. So here are some striking examples that may jog your memory. E.T. the Extraterrestrial, which came out in 1982, used some prominent Reese's Pieces candy placement, which boosted Reese's Pieces sales. The Transformers series uses GM cars like Bumblebee's Chevy Camaro, Skyfall, if you're a Bond fan, Bond was drinking Heineken. He also drove an Aston Martin and wore an Omega watch, which he, in the movie, calls Omega, and I never will know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. There are some problems with product placement, though. Overt placement, like if a placement is blatant, it can really ruin the watcher's experience and disrupt the story, pulling people out of the narrative. If brand fit just isn't right and the brand doesn't blend well into the theme, it can feel awkward and inauthentic. There's also the audience reaction. Some audiences don't have positive affinity with some brands. Having Starbucks cup on the set of your medieval fantasy set probably isn't going to fly. There are many ways, again, that product placement benefits a film project. There are paid placements that generate money for the film. There's in-kind contributions where you trade for a placement by getting goods or services, like if you're going to place a Quiznos, is Quiznos still a thing? If you're going to place a Quiznos sub, maybe Quiznos is providing lunch for your cast and crew during shoot days. There's also cross-promotional deals that feature a brand or product in exchange for that brand helping you promote your film. Like if you feature Nike, maybe Nike will feature your film in advertising. What was the most blatant and embarrassing example of product placement you've ever seen in film? Let me know in the comments below. To wrap things up, product placement is a strategic marketing technique that integrates commercial products into a film's narrative. When done effectively, it benefits both the filmmakers and the brands by providing financial support, enhancing realism, and promoting products to a broad audience. However, it must be carefully managed to avoid disrupting the viewing experience and to ensure the placements feel natural and relevant to the story. If you pull that off, it can be wildly beneficial.